This Iron Man helmet is made out of cardboard and Coca-Cola cans and it's open on command without any electronic. Do you want to see inside? Look, it's just a simple pop cycle stick and rubber band mechanism and it's totally handmade with simple tools and materials that you can get at home. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make it. This is make it cheap. As always, we have a template here, so I got this template from Daily Lomo DIY. First, let me show you how to print this template. Once you download the template, and you're gonna need to open it with Adobe Acrobat Reader, so you can print it on the exact size. Select poster and tile scale to 100%. Then choose the size of paper you are using. Here I use A4 paper. But I'm gonna need to make a bit of adjustment on the cheek and also the forehead because I want to make the mask looks more mechanical. You will see what I mean. Now fold the paper into a half and put a light under the paper so you can see through the line. Before we assemble the template, uh, we need to cut the edge of the paper a little bit. Now just tape all the template together and just cut all the template with scissors. I stick the template on the cardboard with double tape, so it's easier to remove the template later. Now draw the templates on the cardboard using pen, pencil, or marker. We need to cut the lines on the cheek and the forehead to make lines on it. I also did the same thing on the helmet part. Okay, we can remove the template and start cutting the cardboard. We will cut this part of the mask but we do it later on. Cut this part halfway through because we are going to bend it. Now we can glue the helmet parts. I use super glue because it works faster, but you have to be careful because uh, you could glue your finger and it feels really hot if it touches your skin. Okay, gluing is not that complicated, but now on the mask part, it's a little bit tricky. First, we cut off this part near the eye and we cut a line halfway through between the eyes and also behind the mask so we can easily bend it later. Now bend the mask a bit and glue it. Because we already cut this part halfway through, we can bend it easily and glue it so it stays still. Now glue the mask on the helmet but don't put too much of glue because it's just temporary. We are going to remove the mask again later. And this part of the chin also temporary glued. As you can see, there is a gap on this area and we are going to fix it. We have to cut this off and glue it again on its position, but make sure you cover the gaps. A 
On this project, I'm gonna need metal or small pieces of aluminum. So I get it from these umbrella ribs. Because the cardboard is soft and it could bend easily, I need to make buffer with the umbrella rib. I do this because I didn't use resin to harden the cardboard. You don't need to do this if you use resin. And now to make the mask stay still, I make a frame on it with pop cycle stick and I just glue it with super glue and the glue should do the work. We will cut this cheek part off later so we need to make a main frame on the mask. Okay, now you need to pay attention on this frame. This popsicle stick should not be glued on this part because we will cut it off. So just glue on this side and this side. Alright, the mask frame is done. Now we can glue every gap and cavity on the cupboard just to make the build of the helmet stronger. Okay, now we can remove the mask from the helmet and let's work on canning. Believe it or not, I've been collecting all of these cans for a very long time. It might be trash for you, but for me, it's all treasure. On this project, we just need the Coca-Cola cans because obviously the color of it suits the Iron Man helmet. Just cut the cans like this so we have layers of cans. Alright, we will start from the top of the helmet. We will need to cut the template into a half so it fits the can. Actually, you can cut the can with the template on it, but it's easier for me to mark the template with marker on the can. When you make the second part of the helmet, make sure you leave a space on it so we can stack it with the first part. Before we glue the cans on the cardboard, we need to color every edge of the cardboard with black marker, so the gaps isn't noticeable. I use double tape to stick the cans on the cardboard because using only glue on the can will not work. I've tried using hot glue and it's not working. So I use double tape and a bit of super glue on some parts. You can use this method if you want, but if you have any different method, please let me know in the comment. I also keep some space on the chin part because as you can see now the carver is exceeded the template and we can cut it off if we make too much space. I forgot to mention that uh, these two parts in the back of the helmet will be glued at the last because you have to set it properly so it fits your hand. Okay, and here I found a problem. The helmet is now too small and I couldn't wear it. And to fix this problem, I just cut this part off and glue it separately. It's just a quick fix. Actually, you can adjust this part based on your hat. Um, we, we all have different hat shape. And the helmet is now perfectly fit on my hat. Okay, we just need to finish this earpiece.
I'm special for this part we don't need to use copper just stick the template on the can and cut it and glue it on the helmet okay the helmet is done and let's work on the mask now we need to cut off uh, the cheek part and the part on the forehead just do it carefully Um, on the mask, I use this paper that is look like aluminum foil, but I don't know the name of it, please let me know if you know. And because the paper is so thin, I need to glue it on a cereal box first. And actually, I want to use the back of a can on the mask, but I need something that's shinier, so this paper will work. Just like the helmet, um, we need to color every edge of the mask with black marker to cover the gaps and stick the shiny paper on the mask with double tape. Okay, firstly, the paper looks smooth like this, but the more I touch and bend it, it has something like cracky texture like this. But that's okay, it looks kinda cool though. Alright, now we are going to make the opening mechanism on the mask, so this is why I adjust the mask template, so I can make this mechanism. I did it off camera first, so I can figure out how the mechanism will work, and now I can show you how. First, we need to put small pieces of popsicle stick on the mask to limit the parts when it's closing, and I color it with black so it's not noticeable. I need to slice the cheek part on this side a little bit so it won't get stuck. Now we are going to make a lever mechanism and I will use small pieces of popsicle stick and umbrella rib to make the fulcrum. We will place the fulcrum in the center of the mask. For the lever arm, I use more or less 3 cm of popsicle stick, put another two small pieces on it and make gaps as big as the umbrella rib and one smaller pieces of obstacle stick to prevent the lever arm of track. Now we can glue the lever arm on the cheek part. I add sawdust on it and glue it with super glue to make the build stronger. I learned this method from local carpenter, and it works! Now to hook the rubber, I'm gonna use this pin. Just cut it small piece and bend it a bit. Just place it on top of the eye and the bottom of the mask. And I also use the sawdust method to make it stronger. Hook the rubber and this is how it works. I did the same thing on the forehead part, we need to slice this side first to prevent it from getting stuck. And make the lever mechanism like we did on the chi part, but on this part, make the lever arm shorter. Okay, the opening mechanism is done, now we make the string mechanism so it's closed when we close the mask. Again, I did it off camera first and now let me show you. First, I put a stapler pin on the forehead part and tie the string on it. I use nylon string because it's thin and strong. Now make the string track with a small piece of umbrella rib and put it on this side of the mask. Add a piece of popsicle stick to keep the string on track. I also use this straw for the string track. Okay, now let's make the cheek part. We need to add a small piece of popsicle stick at the end of the lever arm so we can tie the string on it. 
put a 4 cm of umbrella rib between both lever arm. We can add popsicle stick on it so it's easier to glue it. Well, this mechanism is pretty simple, but it took me a week to think about it. Now we are going to make the swing mechanism so the mask can open, of course. But we need to temporarily tape the mask. I add rubber pad on this side of the helmet just in case the mask hits it, but it's not necessary actually. So first I need to cut this part a bit so the hinge has some space to swing. I made the hinge with the umbrella rib and the straw for its housing. The size of the hinge depends on the size of the helmet you make. Mine is about 4.5 inches on this side and 2 inches here. And I need to bend the hinge a bit because it doesn't have enough space to go all the way back. I prefer to use hot glue on this part. And actually, I did a mistake here, but I will explain it later. For now, let's finish this part. Yeah, it's actually a thumbs down. Here is the mistake I told you before. I added a piece of rubber pad to make the position of the hinge lower. The position of the hinge was here. It has no momentum, so the rubber didn't pull the mass up. But now because the position of the hinge is lower, the rubber can pull the mass easily. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Now we cut the chain part of the helmet because we're going to add another hinge so we can open the mask with our jaw. For the hinge, I made it with popsicle stick and a small piece of the umbrella rib. If you're still watching this video this far, please spare your time to like this video so YouTube recommend this video to more people. And if you are a new viewer, please consider to subscribe. Thank you! I also make the hook for the rubber, so we need 4 of it for both sides. I almost forget this part, so I glue this part with hot glue so it glued properly on the cans. Now we make the mask locking mechanism. Actually, you can use magnet like Sean did in his video, but I don't have one, so I make the locking mechanism myself. Um, of course with popsicle stick. We make a small bump here with a piece of a can and we put another popsicle stick so it looks like a clamp. So it will clamp the umbrella rib that we are going to glue on the mask. Glue the clamp on the helmet chin and a U-shaped umbrella rib on the mask like this. And here I need to remove the clamp again because this stick is bumping the mask, so I need to cut it a bit. And yes, the mask locking mechanism is working! Yay! Okay, we are almost done. Now we just need to make the anchors for the mask. So when we close the mask, all the mask parts will close. I put one small piece of umbrella rib here for the cheek part and make sure you tie it tight so it's perfectly closed. Now I need to cut this straw here a little bit because it's too long. And I put another anchor here. I don't know why I call it anchor. Okay, it works! The last step, uh, we need to hold a piece of white paper, actually two pieces of white paper. So we need a lot of holes so, uh, so we can see through and obviously this part is for the eyes. Um, you can use a perforated vinyl like uh, most YouTubers use, but I don't have one. I guess I am a really super low budget YouTuber. 
I just take the paper on top of the eyes with double tape so I don't use glue because maybe someday I'm gonna change it. Okay, that's it, the ultimate guide to make Iron Man helmet out of cardboard and soda cans, I guess. Um, of course you don't have to follow all the steps. Well, the making process of this helmet is pretty complicated, honestly, but don't worry guys, you don't have to follow the whole guide that I made. Just, just suit yourself. And I also recorded this helmet when it's open in slow motion and it looks so pretty epic. I made many cool project videos just like this one right here. Go click on it and I'll see you there. But first, please like this video and thank you for watching.